guys. I am currently in my beauty space, actually, you know, putting makeup away, kind of cleaning up, straightening things up, and at the same time, watching YouTube like I typically do. And right now, there's a palette that just went on sale today that I'm dying to buy. But like I do now, before I just buy a palette, I go through my collection to kind of talk myself or try to talk myself out of it or see if it's something that I really, really want in my collection. So the palette that I'm struggling with right now is this palette from bellabeautybar.com. It's the Smoky Glam Eyeshadow Palette and it's $69. Okay, it is not cheap. <laughs> so I am just like, mm. but look at this palette, you guys. It's gorgeous. This color story is gorgeous watching content creators use it and just show it online. It's just like, it's so pretty and I want it so bad. But I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need that. I mean, it's, you know, rosy pinky tones. Uh, looks like really one pop of purple some beautiful deep burgundy shades there's you know the dark blacks and grays it has a light a lot of light shades in here so oh and it has like these bricky colors up here listen y'all i don't need this palette and then i was just looking at some of the other pictures like this one here and it's just like oh man that color story is just it's so pretty, okay, it's so, so pretty. But I think honestly what is just like really drawing me in is just this purple and this green next to each other. I think that kind of really helps to pull the palette together. And so of course I started digging through my collection. So I have palettes all over the place right now. And the first palette I thought about was this one, which is the um, Sample Beauty Equalizer Palette Volume 2. I was like, I know I have a palette that has like kind of purples and burgundies and green tones in it. And it really does. It's really just like this middle, this middle row that has like, you know, a lot of pretty purpley tones, but it has a lot of the rosy pinky tones as well and a couple of pops of green and it has a black you know and a dark shimmer right there so it kind of gives the vibe it really kind of gives the vibe like if you guys look at that and just you know kind of see mm, you know let me back it up a little bit no oh, no yeah back it up a little bit it kind of gives the vibe like if you look at this and then you look at this you know, it kind of gives the vibe a little bit. Why is my thing not focusing? It's stressing me out. You know, it really, it really should be able to suffice. And then I have this one, which is one of my Norvina palettes. Which one is this? This one is one of, actually, I think my favorite one from Norvina. It might be like the four or the five or something. But this one, it gives the feels too. It has like the purples, a couple of rosy tones in there. It doesn't have like the pop of green or the black, you know, or even the grays in there. So that's where it's kind of lacking. But, you know, I was also kind of asking myself, you know, how much of the gray would I use? How much of the green would I use? It's only like a couple of shades of each. These super light greens, that green in the middle, that gray, mm, I don't know. Y'all, I'm struggling because I do not need this. I don't need this palette, but it's gorgeous. And it would be so nice to have all these shades in one palette. Oh, it's so pretty. Let me show you guys the swatches too. Here's the swatches like for like the deeper shades. Like get out of town. Get out of town. It's so freaking pretty. So anywho... That is what I'm struggling with right now, you guys. Trying not to, you know, spend this $69 on this Smoky Glam palette. And then I'm sitting here like, it's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. 
you know it's going to sell out and then you're going to be like dang i should have just bought it so i could have that palette in my collection to go along with all these other 50 million palettes that i could use instead <laughs> so y'all the struggle is real okay To share with you guys the stuff that I got from Target and Bath and Body Works and I'm just gonna run through it real quick so I grabbed at Target a few bags um, you guys know I love cute little bags and stylish little bags and I saw this <laughs> this was just hanging up all by its little lonesome on the rack and I was like now that's cute that is a really really cute pop of color so yeah i grabbed this this is what you know it's looking like as you can see it has that netting but this is from universal thread goods co and so it has you know a little snap right here and it has the strap for it as you can see is tan so it's just like a cloth cute little bag that you can just throw your stuff in when you have on some nice cool summery or spring outfit and add a little pop of color but real cute so I did grab that how much was this this was on clearance for $21 okay and I didn't even know it was on clearance I thought it was going to be 30 bucks I didn't see the clearance on the top I usually see the red clearance tag but this one had a yellow clearance tag so when she rang it up I was like okay then <laughs> okay so the next little bag that i saw was this i really initially fell in love with the color this nice cute tan camel type color and then i also like the fact that the strap was like this contrasting black and white stripe i really like these cute like black and white straps that purses are having and it just adds that nice bit of contrast but i like wearing these type of bags like as fanny packs of course you can wear it as a regular purse crossbody or whatever but i like using this style of fanny pack because it's like really easy to put on really cute and it can match with a lot of cute outfits and it doesn't necessarily look sporty you know so yeah, this is also from Universal Threshold, and this was $25. It was not on sale. Very cute, but it has a zipper pocket in the back as well. 
Um, let me see. Does it have any pockets on the inside? Yeah, it has one zipper on the inside as well. Lots of room too. So really like these. I like the camel colored one so much that I grabbed the black one. It had a cute little black one sitting next to it on the shelf and I was like, well, I got to get the black because I can wear that with basically anything. So I got this black one. It has the same type of strap. And I like these straps, you know, that clip on and off because I can like interchange them with my other purses, you know, like maybe I have another purse and I want to put this black and white strap on it. I can, you know, if it has the hooks that I can just put it on. So very cute. I grabbed these out of the $5 area in the front. It's always something in that area that I feel like I need to grab. <laughs> it's like I haven't shopped at Target unless I grab something out of there. And they had these cute little containers. So it's like a wicker container, as you can see. Very nice size. It's a decent size little container. And they had different colored tops. I got these cute little like sky blue ones. I think they had like yellow, maybe orange or something like that. But what I was thinking that I would do with these is I wanted something cute that I could put my dirty beauty blenders in and dirty sponges in and I could easily throw them in here until I'm ready to wash them and I don't have to see them, you know, in my beauty area just out. I figured this would be cute. It would hold quite a few and I wouldn't mind seeing this on my you know vanity or beauty desk i did get two of them <laughs> so i got two because i wanted one that i can throw dirty brushes in as well if i wanted to you know not wash them after each use and i didn't want to look at them then this is a nice little container for that so i thought that wasn't bad for five bucks and that's a good use for them so of course I went through the what is it the cosmetics and you know beauty items and all that stuff and I saw these masks it's been a long time since I purchased any masks face masks because at one while I had a million of them and it was taking me forever to get through them um, and I still have a few but you know after a long long time I'm sure they lose their you know juiciness and all that stuff so anyways i grabbed a couple of masks i got this hyaluronic hydrogel mask here and that's what that looks like and then i got this aloe vera hydrogel mask and that looks like that and then this one is actually uh it says it's holler and glow perfect petty um transforming intensive foot peel so it's like i guess some foot peel socks in here I've never tried one of these. Um, I'm kind of scared of them. I saw somebody who did a video on, you know, with something like this that does the foot peel. And the way that the foot or feet was looking when it was peeling, I was like, oh, uh-uh, I can't do that. But <sighs> I'm going to try it. I'm curious. I really want to see what happens if I put that on my feet. So I'm going to use that in. <laughs> let y'all know i ain't gonna show y'all no pictures or video because i think this that is like nasty but i'll let y'all know how it works i also cannot resist these these are some uh sonia kashik brushes oh, child I, I have a million brushes i don't need no brushes okay but these were so pretty i love the color of them they look nice and soft and fluffy so yeah i grabbed these of course being in the beauty section but i was looking at this online this is the lip bar glow on highlighting blush and i got the shade top shelf so i mean i'm pretty sure i have a blush or blushes that are close to this shade but i wanted to try just a plain blush from the lip bar i have the what are they the bronzer or contour yeah i think it's bronzer bronzer and blush duos that they came out with years ago but this is just the blush by itself and it's a shade i didn't have so i was like let me check that out and then of course i also saw this set the tone finishing powder um and they only had three shades this one is bronze beauty so they had one that was lighter than this and one that was darker than this and i was like okay but you know looking at this shade this you know center shade medium shade middle shade whatever you want to call it i felt like this one 
would actually work for me. So, yeah, I'm going to check that out as well. So, I got those. Um, and then, lastly, for makeup, I believe I got me another lifter gloss. I love the Maybelline lifter glosses. They have some new shades, I guess, out for the season. I've been using these for years and years, and my favorite shade is Amber. But the new shades that they did have in the store were not ones that I would want. I just like a nice nude, you know, peachy toned gloss. I didn't want to try all those other shades. Even though they're very, very pretty, I know what I like to wear, and I didn't feel like wasting no money on something that I probably wasn't going to reach for. So got me another Maybelline lifter gloss now over in the beauty section skincare you know body care and all that stuff um you know there are a couple of black owned brands that I have not heard of and have not tried or anything like that so I said you know what I'm on this body care lotion kick today with my bath and body work stuff that I'll show you shortly I said I want to try some of these black owned brands so this one is called the brand is Beloved, I believe. It's Mango and Lime Whipped Body Scrub. So this is a, yeah, it's a whipped body scrub. And I don't typically, you know, like to use body scrubs that much, but, oh, oh this smells so freaking good. That's what it looks like. And with it being whipped, I've never tried a whipped one before, like the ones, you know, the regular ones that are super grainy and just kind of granularly, and you put them on, half of them goes down the drain in the shower, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's a mess. I wanted to see, you know, like, if I would prefer to use this with it being a whipped body scrub with essential oils. Oh, and it smells so good yeah and it's really really creamy and moisturized and, and i could feel like the teeny tiniest little scrubs in there so i'm excited to use this or try it out in the shower and i also grabbed this body mist it's a fragranced body mist with the same scent the mango and lime oh this stuff smells so good you guys if you're in target definitely go over you know to the body care and smell it it smells so good and then also this brand urban hydration it's a brighten and glow peach and papaya bubble bath i love taking baths you guys i like have so much bubble bath and shower gel and stuff but this is what this one looks like really really pretty and i'm not sure i wasn't able to smell this because it's sealed but i said you know what let me take a chance the scent sounds like it smells delicious so we're going to check it out Next, I got some, you know, regular brands that we know and love. This is Olay Fresh Outlast. Outlast. This one has notes of orchid and black currant. And I just love how these bottles look. You know, they just feel like you're about to just really put something luxurious on your body. And I like the way that they look. And so this one, it smells really good as well. I smelled this. This is how the opening looks. So I'm just in the store like flaring my nostrils. But this smells amazing. And I got this Dove uh, Glowing Mango and Almond Butter Body Wash. Yeah, so that's what this one looks like. And this one smells really good as well. And then lastly, in that section, I grabbed this from good chemistry i haven't gotten tried anything from this brand before and not familiar with them but this is magnolia and violet body mist and they had like the perfumes and stuff over there but i just wanted to grab the body mist you know see how i felt about it it smelled amazing amazing when i sprayed it in the store i was just like it smells so good light airy um very springy i love the smell the scent of magnolia so i knew i was gonna like this and it just has a nice clean simple look to it so i really like that now i can't go to target without buying no candles so i picked up some of these um scented soy candles um same scent 
pineapple lemonade smells really really good I like to light these upstairs and kind of get the scent going upstairs and in my beauty room and in my closet and stuff it smells really really nice and then downstairs I like to light something that's kind of complimentary so that the whole house just smells good when you're walking through the house so grabbed a couple of candles like I needed some did not <laughs> and didn't um and i came across this this was like in the home home section um and so it has like this really nice sleek look to it so so pretty and it is super duper heavy so you know if you're one who likes to kind of match candles with your home decor and stuff like this this one is really pr oh Ooh, child, that smells so good. <laughs> it's like, it just hit me. I have my fan on in here, and honey, that whiff just went across my nose. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to light this. This smells amazing. So yeah, this one is Willow. And they had like three or four other scents that, you know, I wasn't really vibing with. But this one here, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to just light this a little bit because I need to savor this. I be leaving my candles burning all day long and they just, you know, they burn out quick like that. So lastly, I grabbed a few tank tops in different shades. Your girl loves a good tank top, okay? And with it being nice and hot and we're busting out the shorts and stuff right now out here in Vegas, I'm like, let me just grab me some tank tops. And so these tank tops are from A New Day. Um, they were eight bucks and they're just your standard like scoop neck tank top, you know, like that. Nothing major, nothing too long. It just fits perfectly. And so, yeah, I got a few of these. I got a couple in cream because I have a tendency to wear cream tank tops and black tank tops a lot. And then I got this color. I'm not sure um how you would really describe this color but i like this color as well so i got that kind of like a light faded coffee and then i got a couple of black ones as well so just regular black scoop neck tank tops it's like for me i don't know about y'all but for me <laughs> one thing about me i can never have too many of tank tops too many tank tops Oh, I also got this color. I don't think I showed this color. You know, army green. You gotta have a cute little army green tank top as well. So yeah, it's just a really, really cute um, design. I'm not really into V-necks. Not a V-neck girl, so you won't really catch me wearing too many V-necks, if any. I do, I like a scoop neck. And then I saw this dress it was so cute. I went back and forth though with, I'm like, is this going to look cute on me? I don't know, but it's like a maxi dress. Um, it doesn't go all the way down to the ankles, but this is what the front looks like. Let me see if I can show you. I'll probably insert a picture over here of, you know, the dress completely so you can see it all together but it has this cute little bow in the front a little tie in the front it's not really a bow but it's a cute little tie and then you know in the back it has the elastic in the back that little comfort stretch and you know like I said it's like I guess it's a maxi because it's pretty long it is it's pretty long I know you can't see that it's pretty long even though it does not go all the way down to my ankles it comes pretty close so and then the straps are um you know they're not spaghetti straps but they're not like super duper thick thick straps and it's adjustable i just noticed that so the back it has a button and then it has another you know hole for the button if the straps are too long so that's pretty cute how much was this <clears throat> this was $35 and it came from Knox Rose so that is that so yeah I got that and I think that is it that's everything I got from Target really really love the items I got today okay so let's just go ahead and take a look at the stuff I got from Bath and Body Works I'm gonna run through that real quick okay okay you guys so Let's go ahead and move into the Bath and Body Works section of this haul, okay? 
Now, I've never purchased any of their wallflower um, scent control little holder things, you know, for around the house. But I said, you know what, let me go ahead and try some of these scents. So I grabbed two of these. So I could put one, I think, in my maybe closet bathroom and one in my um, main bathroom in my bedroom. So I grabbed two. Two of those in the scents that I picked up were rose water and ivy so i got two of these that's what that looks like really pretty hopefully i like the scents but i wanted to try a few so that if i find some i really do like i can just wear them online this one is strawberry pound cake got a couple of those i got pink peach blossom which is like clear and this one is black cherry merlot really pretty purple color and then lastly I got pineapple mango so like I said I got two of each so I can kind of figure out which ones I really like and the reason why I grabbed two was because if I'm totally and completely in love with it I wanted to go ahead and have an extra one <laughs> that I got during the sale so I got those I got one item in the little travel section because i think i got this for free if i'm not mistaken with the cube one of the coupons i had this one is the strawberry pound cake um fine fragrance mist this stuff oh my gosh i got some in the larger size items as well i think i sprayed it i was like well that smells so good never had it before so went ahead and grabbed that so i'm gonna quickly run through each item in these bags this is some bath soak and it's lavender vanilla bath soak. So, you know, it's like the bath salt crystals or whatever. I love my bath child and I'll be putting all kind of stuff in my bath. Like I'll be putting the soap, the bath bombs, the crystals, all of that. Some, um, I like to put a little bit of body oil in there, like a lavender body oil as well, because my skin will get nice and soft, you know. It's probably not that good for the drain, but I still like to drip a little in there. I also got this Lavender Vanilla Luxe Bath. So I got this to go with the bath soak as well. So these will be going in my bathroom. For the body mist sprays, let me just pull these out and go through those. What is this? Oh, this is, um, oh, this is a new scent that I grabbed as well this is a mist but it's like they have I don't know three or four different scents in this gingham line and so this blue one here oh it smells so good so I grabbed the small one in this as well so let me put that over there so I don't lose it but for the body sprays since she separated everything up in the bags by body mist um the lotions and then the shower gels i'm gonna be saying the same scents <laughs> multiple times so this one is bahamas passion fruit and is that banana flower y'all know i can't really see without my glasses so this one here oh my goodness it just smelled like a tropical vacation yeah, this definitely smells like you're on a tropical beach. Like, seriously, it smells so good. And then I got this one here, Golden Mango Lagoon. So that's what this one looks like. Super duper pretty. Um, Yeah, so. Mm, this one has like that same tropical smell, but it kind of has like a hint of like a fruity pina colada smell to it you know this one here is watermelon mojito now this one when i smelled this one in the store i went hunting and looking because i was like oh no i'm getting that whole three-piece set the spray the lotion the you know shower gel or whatever oh my goodness it smells so good it's like just a hint of watermelon and it just smells super fresh and super light and super airy so yeah it's it just it smells amazing 
So I got the Bahama Passion Fruit and Banana Flower Shower Gel as well. And I got the Watermelon Mojito Shower Gel as well. And I got the Golden Mango Lagoon Shower Gel as well. So all of those, you know, three cents, I got, um, I believe, the complete set. Because I should have these uh, body lotions in here as well. Okay, so I'm going to run through the body creams that I got as well. So I got the Golden Mango Lagoon body cream so I love these I like to get these more so than the body lotion because it's like a little more thick and luxurious and I like to use it you know all over my body and my feet hands all of that stuff so yeah so I got this one that goes with that set this gingham like I said I don't know if it's just called um I don't know but it, it's like it doesn't have a specific scent you know, I'm probably overlooking it, but anyways, I got that. I got this pink pineapple sunrise. This smells amazing. I got the strawberry pound cake. And this one, yeah, this is the body cream as well. Now this one, I got two of by accident. I think when she told me I had to go grab something else, I don't remember, but, um, you know because I had it was like the buy three get one free or whatever and so I must have grabbed this twice on accident but this is the Bahama passion fruit and banana flower it smells amazing so I don't know I might keep it or I might give it away and then I grabbed the OG Japanese cherry blossom body cream okay if you know you know now I did get two other um, moisturizing body washes I got the strawberry pound cake moisturizing body wash and then I got this watermelon mojito body wash so I got those two in this big size body wash very happy about that and that is it you guys so that is it for my little haul my shopping today I'll check in with you guys a little later y'all everybody and their mama is shopping on Timu okay and doing videos on all this like household stuff, clothing, shoes, cosmetics, just all kind of stuff on this Timu website, okay? And I'm just like sitting here scrolling the website like they got everything on here, okay? Am I missing out? Am I missing out? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, y'all might be getting a Timu haul real soon for me because... Or how long it take for them to ship? Cause your girl is about to join the T Move bandwagon and see what they got. Cause child, it's everything on here.